Hell, it's Base Trade TV. So I'm not sure if it was meant sarcastically or genuinely, but people are like, you know, best commentary towards the end of the game. Because I'm pretty sure all we're doing is going like, <laughs> boost, 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 please, 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 oh my god, oh my god. Snape it, snape it, snape it, snape it. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, the whole time too, you can't actually see your cameras, but we were both just bouncing up and down <laughs> while we're doing this too. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, this is the Who's the Best European Tournament put on by Base Street TV. Um, the prize for this tournament was run and funded by the many of you out there through generous donations. We managed to get up to a $4,000 even prize pool, uh, which you can still increase if you so would like to, but um, this is group A. We've got four groups in total. We're doing two today, two tomorrow, and of course the finals will take place on the 7th. Let's get into this though. Spawning the bottom left corner of the map. He's currently down one. Deja Vu versus Deshi from Evil Geniuses. It is the blue Terran player, De Muslim. He never left as the Red Terran. It is Deshi. That was a really nice game. The Muslim said it in the lobby, like a nice close game, GG, uh, ready, ready, all these things. I, I couldn't agree more. But the thing is, and this is where I think it really came down to, like the Muslim did not get, and pardon my phrasing, this wrecked by Hellions in the early game. So it allowed him to play toe to toe with Deshi. And we got to see like, we know they should be this fantastic player. And everyone thinks like to Muslim, you know, why bother wasting an invite into Muslim? But I knew, having watched the Muslim, been a De Muslim fan for so long, like he had it in him to play well in this tournament. And last game should have displayed that and proven it to you guys, if nothing else. Uh, the sad thing is, though, he did not win, and this is the last chance for him to come back. Same time goes for the Daishi fans here, where it's like, wow, Daishi, kind of one of the expected players to get out of the group. Will he actually be one of the ones out? I mean, we've already been kind of upset. I don't think Zombie Gob or I guessed Little Bo. Whoa, is that shots fired? That is. Um, Bly knows this as well. Here's the thing, guys. I've cast so many games with Bly. I really, truly don't think he's a stream cheater or a map hacker, but there are... There is one... It, it's like Winter the view bots, right? Like, Winter doesn't actually view bot, but everyone just kind of uses that at this point. Um, but yeah, Bly, I, I, I don't... I personally, truly don't think he's a map hacker or a stream cheater or anything like that, but he's got a reputation. I'm not sure what or where or why or how come. Maybe something happened in Brood War, or sorry, not Brood War, Wings of Liberty that I'm unaware of, but... Yeah, I, I think Bly's an upstanding guy, and I'll stand by that statement publicly, but these guys uh, perhaps don't. Uh, well, <clears throat> this uh, last time before I lagged out, we did see the Muslim go for a 14cc, which is pretty Ooh. uncommon in TBT. But now they're both just going to go for a one rack expand. This Reaper might get an SCV, you can't build cancel. Tries to repair, tries to repair! Uh, it takes three SCVs to repair the Reaper DPS, of course, and you gotta tell that SCV to stop moving. Because a lot of the time, he just like walks away and keeps mining. You're like, I'm trying to help you! Godzilla, I know, please! right? Like, it's like, no, I gotta do my job. It's like a super, like, epic, like, uh, climax to, like, an action movie, but it's just an SCV mining. Yo, so, while we are at, uh, Toronto, so everyone and I, like, watched Godzilla or whatever, and the whole time... <laughs> Just, yeah, like, getting so mad not at the movie but like at everything happening in the movie and it's kind of how i feel right now Ooh, ooh, doesn't quite get the reaper uh as Did you say second scv kill you got like three kills yeah three scvs have died what? actually this reaper but here's what? the thing and this is why i was like oh, oh my god oh my god like this okay kills it now that should have never gotten into the base in the first place uh the thing is on nimbus there's only one spot it can come up outside the the ramp and like had he never repositioned the barracks he just kept running towards the south of it yeah, yeah. They're both going for very identical builds so far. The Muslim now changing it up by not getting that second refinery. Could be going for a drop as opposed to Daishi going for maybe Cloaked Banshee. Which we have not seen him do, I believe, in any TVT so far. You know, here's the thing though. He's kind of a, he's got to know in the back of his mind. Like, the Muslim, maybe not weak, like, you know, Pokemon fire versus water type thing. But he's like weaker against these Hellions. Uh, they've been doing way too much damage in the first time they played against each other. He's up 1-0 right now. I gotta be honest, like, in those spawn locations too, Hellion drops have got to be on his mind. To do anything else, I think, would be a little bit silly. Yeah, Hellion drops for Daishi would have been pretty good to the natural. Oh well. Uh, that's what's gonna be for the Muslim. Daishi gonna get a Raven. Oh, it is gonna be close Banshee. Okay, so the first time we've seen him do this, it's gonna help out a lot against the drop. Um, a, a two ba the two base version of the Hellion Marine drop isn't like nearly as lethal as the one base. Like one base, it can actually end the game, and that's always disappointing to see. But two base usually just deals like either a lot of damage or it gets cleaned up pretty easily. Uh, but the Banshee will certainly help and may be able to return some of its own damage should he not keep it at home. 
<clears throat> these widow mines could be surprisingly useful, and I only say that because of Journey. Thank you, Journey, for showing us how you can lose an entire push. <laughs> you oh, you're breaking my heart talking about this stuff sounds good. You know that, right? <laughs> uh, Alright, well, these widow mines uh, will certainly help out if they can get those connections. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of Hellions here. But uh, one thing they do have is bonus damage versus light, which Widowmines are, so one goes down, the second one target fires on top of the Hellions. Nice control, they're out of Daishi, but he's still going to lose the fight. That splash on top of Daishi stuff? Did that help the Muslim? I don't know if that helped or hurt, but either way, uh, you know, time is bought here. The Banshee's got to deal with those Marines. The Hellions are getting cleaned up now with the bits. There was an opportunity there for, like, a bunch of uh, roasted Muslims. SEVs. Yeah, like, the Muslims, good, like, Marines were kind of, like, AFK, too. This yeah, could have got involved for sure. Really great splitting from Daishi. Now the Marines are still, you know, being a little bit of a nuisance here, and the Hellenians will be a little nuisance because it's oh, wow. SCDs. Up to seven kills, yeah, not too bad. Uh, Hellenians will clean this up. Uh, doesn't quite get the shot. Daishi repairing the Hellion, nicely done. Mm -hmm. So he made like a four worker lead, not that big of a deal. His micro, his macro, rather, slipped a little bit. The Muslim banking uh, quite a bit here. Those on two racks finally. Could have followed us up with a pretty great tank push. These guys are kind of... They're actually going to get to like a, a normal TVT, like Marine Tank versus Marine Tank. Whoa. Uh, it does get the Banshee. I wasn't sure if that was going to get juked out because of the vision or not. I, I was I was surprised, like by the way. On that thing. Well, here's, here's the thing. Like We were at IEM Toronto, right, guys? And I keep bringing this up. We get it, Rift, you're at IEM Toronto. Um, but what was interesting is while we were in the crowd, we were talking with a lot of people who I guess were a lot less familiar with StarCraft 2 and I, I don't know about you, I got asked this by like three separate occasions on like why the Banshees weren't taking damage from the Vikings and uh, for those who don't know like if you run out of vision through the fog of war or just cloak the, the Viking shots for whatever reason just go like crazy and miss so they don't do actual damage. Let me see an yeah. example of that here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, maybe not. I, like I'm saying like it's sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know that. Oh, whoops. No, it's pretty, right. it's pretty consistent. It's about like whether it does damage in vision or not, but it all, it's guaranteed to miss if you don't I guess, have vision. Okay, yeah, it's guaranteed to miss. It just It's so hard to like tell exactly, like, is it out or is it in, but... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <man. laughs> Like, as soon as I finished, I was like, oh, damn it. Phrasing! <laughs> okay, uh, the Wonderbike gets put on cooldown. The Metamax can go down right away. This is kind of a big deal versus the main Marines, but uh, the Vikings, like, I don't really need to land. Uh, yeah. I should have, yeah, I should have picked up the Marines, not the Vikings, but... Uh, yeah, oh well. Too long. Now, the Vikings with their DPS on the ground will win this fight outright. Uh, the tanks can be a bit annoying to deal with as well as the production for Daishi. And he's sitting on top of a wood mine. There we go, just scan to kill it. I was going to say, that tank, those uh, Vikings, they're also low. That wood mine could have gotten quite a few kills. Yeah, yeah. The Muslim can't really. Oh, whoops. Uh, the Muslim couldn't really push in there, but that's not a problem. He took a, still a pretty good fight. Um, both players got the third command centers. No. Yeah, the Muslim actually going for more barracks. So he might have a he might have a push that could do a lot of damage if Daisy decides to get that third anytime soon. Um Oh the Muslim stim though. Whoa, the Muslim stim is so far behind. It is, but nice catch with the Marines there. I, I think one of the things about the sim timing though is uh I don't think he's gonna need it as weird as that is to say. Like Daishi has taken enough damage that he doesn't have an army ready to drop. We're not gonna see Doom drops anytime soon. And the medevac count has been thinned out so heavily. Uh not to mention on top of all of this, I mean there's turrets coming down here for the Muslim. I don't I don't know about the turrets. I think like I was saying, like the Muslim's not the one with the third CC. He has more racks. So he's the one who should be like the, the aggressor. You know, not not getting dropped unless Daishi gets really desperate. Um I'm surprised he's not trying to move out right now. Um, does start the third command center, which is obviously a lot later than Daishi. I'd be really surprised if he at least didn't try to push out. Take this on Naga. Something. Drop did attempt, by the way, from Daishi. Got scared away. Yo, know, I, uh, really wish, you know, we see all these turrets coming down, and I will always voice this up until Legacy of the Void, and I'm sure they won't put it in even then, but I really wish Terran players could construct Perdition turrets. It really pisses me off that that's not an option Perdition? in multiplayer. Yeah, the flame turrets that come out of the ground. Oh! I mean, if Zerk can have spine crawlers and spore crawlers, why can't Terran have turrets? Wasn't that a thing in like Command and Conquer? Turrets? No, it was a thing in StarCraft 2! Oh, I know it was a thing in StarCraft 2 as well. StarCraft 2 2. Ah. 
But I feel like there was also something, or maybe that was just the, the, the missile that came out of the ground in Command Conquer. Anyways, whatever. I do know what you're talking about. Would have been cool, but show, so would have uh, the Shredder, I'm just saying. That would have been cool. Free free win, no run bias. Yeah. Flash, please. The Shredder would have been an excellent addition to the uh, Terran arsenal. Um, but we you know, decided, no you know. Here. Yeah. We just decided, you know, we don't really need it. That's Terry. I would go for it. Ah, uh, there's a balls to drop to go down on top of this. There's not too many Marines in position. Uh, the muzzle will yeah. pick up and try and salvage this messy start. Yeah, right. it was it was kind of like a one oh, Marine maybe. chasing off like nine. Okay, there we go. Hero, that was the Rambo. Rainbow. Like a, Rambo. yeah, he came and he just shouted really loud. Like get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here's finally that push from the muzzle. But you know, despite having the earlier production and the later third CC. Actually not up in supply. Daisy's up in supply in every way possible. SCV and army, as well as now up 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 in well actually no, they're even on upgrades now. Um but I'm I'm kind of surprised at that. And the Muslim's gonna be Well now he's just gonna be straight up behind, right? His third's only now just coming down. Daishi has like his refineries, he's saturated it. Well, the Muslim has to do some damage. Basically, or at least like draw about... it out. Right, well, you talk about the Muslim being the aggressor here, uh, they shaving off of the third CC over top of the Muslim's massive for axis, but I think at the same time, like, if he can set up some proper contain, what we saw last time was they should just expand like crazy. The Muslim could potentially do that, and I think every Terran player has been in that spot where you think, like, okay, I'm stuck on three bases, oh well, but then all of a sudden you realize your opponent's got, like, seven, you're like, well, okay, I guess I can't actually do anything, I'm screwed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he is still technically the aggressor. He's on Daishi's side of the map, and it's a very good vision to be in, and specifically for the Muslim, because since he has that natural that is very droppable, you just put up a bunch of turrets, that's like the only avenue of drop that Daishi has. If there's turrets and marines there, there's no getting around the Muslim's, like, uh, that, that army right there, unless he takes, like, a really long route around the map. He's gonna try for the doom drop though. Ah, uh, there's so many marines here. This... Not with the marines. Not with the marines. They get Only past the turrets. turrets. Sure. Yeah. Like Not they take the a couple losses, but. Stim the marines. Uh, the marines. See. Ah. Well, you only get to top of the tanks right away. This was key. It's the tanks that zone out your reinforcements, right? But, uh, yeah. This is gonna sting. That's a lot of SCV damage. A lot of. The SCV. Muslim is so quick to pull SCVs not away from a fight, but into a fight. I've noticed that in this series. Yeah. Twenty SCVs die there. That's gonna sting. Of course, he's got mules to help make up that difference, and he'll be able to build them off of three CCs that he finally has. But yikes, uh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. Hoping that that Since was the army. Trying to turn the drop, but it's not gonna work out nearly oh, as this well. Will. If he goes here, if oh, he goes here. Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great positioning. Great that's absolutely nice perfect. Right Tanks actually do siege, but there is a 360s around on the Muslims' army. And you know what? It's not gonna work out at all. Xbox oh, no. did really hard. <laughs> that seems like such a great idea. Then we realize there's like a surround opportunity. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. I kind of wish, um, had his full forces been rallied forward, of course he had a lot in his main because he was busy defending against Daishi's drops. You know, he probably could have broken those four tanks, left your unguarded in the front, but not enough forces and not enough momentum. Army supply relatively even at this point, too. Uh, Bates is opponent away from his tanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daishi again with a faster CC, fourth, uh, yeah, fourth already on the way. Upgrades are staying very even. You know, it's so difficult in your matchups to figure out where you can afford to get those minerals to build an extra base, but... Ah, uh, this would be really bad. Oh, oh thanks nice thanks. I actually really like that pickup. Very that was good. good. Very good. You know, the Muslims... Uh, really, it's even, despite, you know, just that the Muslim doesn't have as many SCDs. Uh, this is probably not a good engagement. It takes uh, down the Marines, but there's too many tanks. Let's see what's the close of the Marines can possibly start dropping the top of something we see happening right now. Friendly they fire, of course, is a hell other, of a though. thing. Yeah, they, they both, both kill each other. each other. And Daishi comes out better, too. Like, alright. Yeah. It's, ah, so frustrating trying to watch that happen. But here's the big thing for the Muslim. He does have his 3-3 on the way. This will give him a very discernible lead on top of the Marines. But uh, where he's choosing to go for 3-3, Daishi's instead getting those weapon upgrades for the tanks. Not sure that'll come into the biggest deal, but it is always going to be helpful, of course, as tech advances. By the way, I hate this... Like, tanks shooting the rocks gonna make sense because they're explosions. Marines literally shoot out spikes out of their 9mm gauze rifles, right? Wouldn't that just build onto the rocks and make them, like, just add to the junk pile? Like, jagged, jagged rocks, yeah. Yeah. Uh, big drop goes up here at the same spot, but the Muslims already on top of this. Uh, should be able to clean this up. Gonna take some marine losses, Stop of course. Stop dropping in that spot. It's not working. Well, no, for both players, why not put a turret there? Like, come on! Yeah. You know, I, we say it's not working because it's not that the Doom Drop that's ending the game, but they're taking, like, okay trades whenever they do it. Again, the Muslim is down in SCV, so that supply really isn't, like, 
entirely accurate. And now, in fact, he's up in army supply. His upgrades are a lot faster. Every single upgrade is a lot faster, except the vehicle one. Um, so, like, I guess that actually... That was a little better for the Muslim. But everything can change. Just one time out of position, TBT can just swing so wildly. Uh, the Muslim, his control once again looking great, but the problem is, you guys gotta remember, this is his last life. Um, he has to play a little bit harder than Daishi does, and the problem is Daishi is playing this incredibly well. Well, uh, I don't know, I really want to see both of these guys in the round of eight. I'm not gonna be upset, because no matter who gets through, I'll be happy, but it's kinda like, I love both these guys, and it's a shame it's can only be one. Mm, 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 mm. The Muslim so far not really feeling the burn of his later economy, you know, the later third, later fourth, less SCVs. He's still matching Daishi in terms of uh, army and upgrades. Uh, well, I think the but, upgrades are going to be his best advantage here, uh, but it's not really a big window of opportunity to take advantage of it, right? Like, Daishi's will be finishing up here it's, in just a moment's time. Yeah, it's actually the tank count? No, it's, I think it's a perfectly even tank count, 8 to 8. I guess Daishi's just clumped up, so it looks like he has more. That's only five tanks in the front. Where's other tanks? Yo, I would love if one of these guys could sneak Yo! into the Viking. Oh, that could be okay, huge. Okay, he notices. He had like a huge army in that spot where the Daishi dropped. That could have been bad. Does does find it and bring it home. You mean take it away from home? Yeah, bring it to the, the, the frontier, okay? So what, what is this, like a mobile home? <laughs> this is an RV. <laughs> these aren't tanks, these are just RVs. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man, whatever. Uh, Daishi's finally taking control of the the game as a whole, though, so now he, he's, he can oh, start he's mass expanding. Ranks. Not a planetary. Oh. Planetary uh, shuts down Marines so easily, but, uh. Sadly, not the case here. He needs to start, you know, both these guys actually just. Well, Daishi's kind of doing it, but sending one Marine off, because now it's going to come down to, like, who's going to catch each other out of position with Marines. It's not so much, like, Oh, I cut your tanks out of position as it is where well, my like 40 marines killed a planetary in an orbital. Uh, so you really wanted to like, see that coming way, way in advance. Alright, the issue with lots of extra CCs, uh, lots of extra mules means you can start clearing up SCVs and getting a bigger army supply. Uh, the weird thing though is because the Muslim did lose those SCVs earlier, he doesn't need to clear them up. He already had them cleared up, so to speak, and thus has the bigger army supply. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This actually, might actually that work. never really. That never actually really hurt him. You know, it's the one time. Yes, yeah, the one time it's okay. Yeah, he's just consistently been matching Daishi in terms of bank too, which is really what's surprising. Oh, he's going in for a full surround attack. I don't know how much this is gonna work. Uh, the muscle with the marine fight in the north, and he focuses first a lot of tanks on the left. He's so gonna break before. Daishi. Wow. Daishi's got more tanks than before here, but let's be honest, you just pick up and go elsewhere, and fly around this. Six. Oh, whoa, 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 pick up units. Okay, I was gonna say you can bleed out some units here. He's gotta recognize there's nothing guarding these tanks though. He could get on top of this so easily. Medivacs are, I mean, the rally for Daishi is 15 Marines. Oh no, it's the Muslim with 15 Marines at a time actually. Daishi's producing eight and two tanks. This base, uh, it's a planetary. It's gonna be really annoying to break, but I think he can. He's got time, he's got tanks. That's he's got power. Tanks. I, <laughs> Daishi just overestimating how much a full surround could have gotten. Yeah. And what I think what happened was that he, the Muslim, Barely I, brought back those 30 marines that were defending the planetary, like, just in time. Otherwise, Daishi probably pushes through. Well, I also don't think uh, Daishi had recognized, like, because the Muslim had the slow or SCV count, he had such a huge army supply lead. Oh, that's uh, probably true, too. It is worth noting, guys, unseached tanks got rid of the planetary fortunes without the uh, upgrade on the range bonus. But marines getting behind the mineral lines can also outrange the damage of the HP cannon to kill SCVs, as we see. Uh, Daishi not able to break this tank line. It's too long, too many, and too uh -huh. well positioned. Uh -huh. What are these tanks doing? That's a terrible rally. Stop. Oh, God. Stop. Maybe it's bait. Yo, it's bait. Oh, yo, if he had an attack, those tanks probably would have survived. Or at least a couple of them. Yeah, if that was like a move <laughs> command instead of an attack move. Ah, uh, well. Well, actually, okay, no, they would have for sure because they outrange Marines pretty hardcore, so they wouldn't have even seen him to attack. Oh, hidden. Oh, he's, hidden. Look he's looking, though. He's like, you know what? I saw those SCVs get away. Hey, girl. <laughs> so. But here's what's so frustrating for the Muslim, right? Like, he's finally getting a bit of an upswing in this game. The momentum is finally in his favor. But as you see, he's left a hole in his defense. So Daishi just walks right through it. Oh, no, no. I think he was, he was pretty prepped for that. And he sees the scan. You see the scan. If you see the scan. Oh, top siege. right. Top right. Uh, bottom left as well. Just calling out directions. West, north, south, east, etc. You know, Daishi's got a higher tank uh, upgrade, but the weird thing is the vehicle weapon upgrades are probably the least efficient upgrade, I'd say, in this matchup. 
uh, especially when it comes to when you tank like this. But slaughters the SCVC in the top right, kills the CC or cancels the CC rather, and uh, Daishi pulling back. That tank line, that tank line, mm. pretty impressive. Oh, he tries to break it, but it's gonna be a slaughter. Oh god. No contest. The Muslim bringing it back. 1-1. One, one. This will go to game number three. Is this the first ace match? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just shut you down right there. <laughs> we'll see. Uh... Oh, that's right. The Muslim versus Bly because that's your axe. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to go to a small ad break while we get this lobby up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in two minutes real quick uh, with game number three.